Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we're doing something a little different this time. I wanted to highlight some, uh, I guess you would call this adaptive technology. Um, this is a watch for the vision impaired. Um, first off, if you know anyone who could use a product like this, let me know. I'm going to give this away at the end to anyone who reaches out to my email address and uh, know someone who could use a, a watch with a vision impairment. Um, but this watch is designed for people who are blind, who uh, maybe have partial blindness, cataracts. Um, but the main purpose of it is it helps you tell the time. Um, the time is 2.13 p.m. So it, it talks. Um, it's a very cool watch. Um, I thought I would highlight a product like this just so you could see some of the other technologies out there, you know, that aren't just standard watches. Um, first off, this thing is incredibly light. Um, I'm not going to jump into the, you know, size and all of that because for the people that would need this watch, that's not a relevant um, point. But it is very light. It is what it calls a genuine leather uh, band. Um, it is very tough, so you definitely need to break it in. But for the, the people that are going to want to use this, that's probably more than fine. Um, so this watch connects to the atomic clock. Um, I'm having some issues getting it right now to connect. Um, it's about an hour off, but you would press this eight o'clock position USA, time not updated. and it, it will let you know that it's connected to the atomic clock. Uh, it, it syncs every night to your time zone, uh, which I'll show you how to set. Um, or you could do a manual set, but it, it's not seeming to connect. Uh, if that's still an issue, I'll, uh, reach out, but at, at all the forums I've seen say it should fairly well connect itself um, after midnight. Um, but going around, is off. you have an alarm function. The time is 2 15 PM. You have your time. Today is Tuesday, September 12th. You have your uh, date. Uh, some of them I've seen say the, the, the year also. And then this is kind of your functionality. So also if you hold this down. Set. Of your alarm set, alarm on, off. you can turn your alarm on and off. Time on, off. You can manually set your time, Clock button time zone setting. or you have your time zone setting. Button set. Press 10 button to set. There are a lot of um, things you can do with this watch, but obviously, it, the main point of it is to. Uh, be adaptive to somebody who can't necessarily read the face of the watch. The face itself is very clear. Um, if you do only have partial vision impairment, it, it's a very clear face that you can see quite nicely. Um, and it's a fairly large watch also, so it's not super small. Um, let me throw it on the wrist here and just see what it looks like to wear it. All right, so here it is on the wrist. Uh, it's it's a good size. It's actually like a, a for me a very comfortable watch. But I, I, the point is obviously to be very legible, which it is. Um, it was definitely a little difficult to get on because this leather band uh, definitely needs to be broken in. Um, so it was hard to put on, but that's totally fine. Um, it is super legible, and while it's on the wrist, it's super. It's super easy to hit the buttons. Um, I don't want to dive too much into all the functionality of this watch because for the people that need it, it comes with a, a great um, comes with a great little instruction booklet here that walks you through you know everything you would need to do to this watch, everything that each uh, section you know does how to get manual reception, how to do all the different uh, reception modes, where to place it, how to set everything. Um, but yeah, it's just a, I think a great piece of adaptive technology. Obviously, there's other watches out there now, like. You know, you could probably wear an Apple Watch or a smart watch if you do have a, you know, vision impairment or something that stops you from using a regular watch. Um, but but I, I wanted to showcase this and be able to send this to somebody who needs it because I know that a lot of us are always stressing over watches and there's people out there that maybe can't wear a regular watch and this is the product for them. It's super thick. Um, didn't really feel that thick on the wrist though, but I, I wanted to show this off and just show you that there is technology out there that is adaptive um, for people who need it. Uh, so again, if you know anyone who could use a product like this, uh, let me know and I'll send it out to them, no charge or anything. Um, thank you guys. And if you know any other cool products like this, let me know and I, I wanna take a look at those too. Until next time, see ya.